Hey, what's up? This is Tasha. Welcome to another video. Um, if you're new here, I am a freelance artist, artist, arter, <laughs> artist, mirrorless, and illustrator based in Denver, Colorado. And this video is going to be documenting my process, um, uh, making, uh, what am I trying to say? Oh my gosh. <laughs> this video is going to be documenting the process of me finding frames and preparing some artwork to be hung in a local bakery here in Denver called Lodo Bakery. So I'm going to take you all on the process of doing that and um, hopefully it all comes together and looks really good because I have no idea if I'm going to find the stuff that I need and if this is going to work but uh, <laughs> I am optimistic and I'm going to take you all along on the journey. First things first, I need to decide what artwork I'm going to hang up and then I'm going to kind of jot down the dimensions of the artwork and then we're going to go thrift store shopping and hunt for some frames for this because obviously I'm not a millionaire and I cannot afford to buy brand new frames for all of this work because I really um, have a mission to have my work hung and displayed in multiple local shops um, around Denver. So I need to find some secondhand frames to do that with. So let's get into it. <laughs> actually had um, a bunch of frames in here already from a previous show a couple years ago they're just gold and they have the um, like see-through <laughs> backing on it so I'm definitely going to use some of the some of these frames for the smaller Prints. And that'll give the gallery wall a little bit of consistency because there will be a set of frames that are all the same, um, which is great. So let me figure out what I'm going to put in these. I'm out of breath. Why am I out of breath? Let me put out what I, let me figure out what I'm going to put in these and then take the dimensions of what I need to take. And then let's head to the thrift store. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you. 
outfit new day i'm gonna show you what i picked up from the thrift store so i found this frame it was just five bucks for one of the larger prints and then I, think I got these two frames, which were $5 total with these rainbow fish in it. And now I am going to take the artwork out and put my own artwork in, which is going to be interesting because all three of these frames have these super weird backs on them. And so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> suspected when I purchased this the frame is too large so now we got to do some problem solving let's see how this works
So I figured out how to get this painting in here without it looking crazy, but the frame did come with some damage. So I am going to use some color pencil to fill it in. I've done this plenty of times before and it works pretty well. So I'll show you how to do that. So I have got all of my frames, all the pictures are in there, they're ready to go. Let's head to, first I gotta go to the hardware store to get some command hooks to put this up. Hopefully that works. And um, then I will be going to the bakery and we will hang up the artwork. We also have to decide how it's going to be hung. I haven't done that yet. Okay, let's go.